Hello, hello, hello. Welcome everyone to another live stream tonight. It's a special live stream. Hello, Joe! We're here on the 29th of September. It is no time to die, Eve. And we're going to play some Bond, because why not? Everyone has been waiting, well, all Bond fans have been waiting six years for this moment. Let's celebrate and play some Bond games. Um, before I get started, first of all, sorry, it's taking me so long to get started tonight. I'm running around like a headless chicken, trying to get water, water and a cup of tea ready. Um, and also, secondly, you may be able to tell with my voice, but I am still slightly sick. Um, uh, yeah, so I might need to mute, mute during the stream and cough a lot. So <laughs> if there's any weird pauses, it's because I'm coughing. Um, Still, I'm, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I'm hoping by tomorrow my cough will pretty much be gone because I don't want to be coughing in the cinema because that's not a good look right now, is it? No, I think people are going to people Hello, are gonna judge me. Joe? But yeah, don't worry. I, it's not COVID. It's not COVID. Just a nasty little bug that seems to be going around. So um, it's all right. Just means I've got a slightly husky voice. Anyway, wow, who have we got here tonight? Hello, everyone. We have, well, I started off with a um, <laughs> a lovely uh, bot asking if I wanted to buy subs and followers and crap. Uh, but no. Hello, Nexa. Where is my art attack? Ah, good question. I'll talk about that in a moment. Uh, Gav Gavex, hello. Welcome. Super Flash, hello there. Uh, lemons. <laughs> yep, music. Um... Jaybird, what up, baby? Hello, how's it going? Uh, oh, that's Master Reap, isn't it? You changed your name. You messaged me about that. Hello, uh, I am in a Bond fix. Oh, although not as much as I would be usually. I'll talk about that later on as well. And um, the real Max Marvel one two three. So hello everyone. First of all, let me just get this out of the way. Nexa, there is no art attack tonight. There is no art attack, I'm sorry. No, none of yours and pandas creepy, creepy suggestions for tonight because... I'll crump with your sweetie pie. I already did one. I did one off camera, which I know is kind of defeats the purpose of it. But um, I realised that I was missing one. I had missed Dennis's. So I don't know if Dennis is here, but if, if he is here, I can actually check. No, but I will show Dennis later on. He actually suggested uh, a couple of weeks ago now to do, it was when I was playing Time Spitters, to do a dance off of Disco Stew and Cortez from Time Spitters. And so I did that. Here it is. Here it is. There it is. So. <laughs> um, I'm quite happy with that, and it's a good thing I did do that off screen because I needed a, I needed some reference. I needed some reference photography for that. So photography, <laughs> one's a cartoon, the other one's a bloody video game character. But you know what I mean. So there we are. We have we have Disco Stew over here doing like the Saturday Night Fever. You know, Night Fever, Night Fever, and over here we have Cortez doing the splits and loving it. And I thought I'd do a disco ball and try and do some of the lights flashing on a disco ball. So, um, hmm. Yeah, I was pleased with that. Pleased with that. Uh, but yeah, that's going to be the that's going to be the only art attack for tonight because I want to get on to the bond. So sorry, Nexa. Uh, ha oh, by the way, thank you for the follow and hello to you, Zizinizzle. That's a fun. That's a fun name to say, Zizinizzle. Or Zizit, I don't know, whatever. Um, finally made it to a live stream. Well, good, good. Nice to have you here. I forgot I changed my Twitch. Yep, Master Reap. Okay, good. Ecto, how am I going to say that? Ecto Slavia. Ecto Slavia. Ecto Slavia? Slavia? Tomato? Tomato? One could say Joe's shaken, not stirred. I am. My body is a bit shaken. My throat is a bit shaken. Oh, looks good. That's a beaut. Vin Diesel looks so happy. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. I'm very in luck. I, oh, oh, crap. <laughs> Doesn't he look happy? Doesn't he look happy? Uh, I have to wait two more streams for my art request. No, no, not two. Not two. Just next time. 
next time I'll be doing one. Okay, so just wanted to quickly get out of the way. Let's get on to the bond. I'm going to revisit Nightfire. Uh, it's been eight years, eight years since I played this game um, on Twitch back in the day. <laughs> and I was not very good. Let's just put it that way. So we're going to revisit. Hopefully this time I'll be a little bit better. Probably not. Um, and see how it goes. I'm going to be emulating it this time, obviously. I have got it on PS2, but this time I'll be on the Dolphin emulator. And so it's going to look a bit nicer, hopefully just easier to play. I did try and do some sort of mouse injection thing to make it work with keyboard and mouse, but didn't really work too well. Too much of a faff. So I'm going to, I'm going to leave that for now. Uh, the eyes are good. Yeah, I thought I did quite, quite a good like bit of depth there with the the blending and the shadow. Yeah, thank you. I'm glad you noticed. Spent too much time on this, frankly. Uh, next time is Panda's turn. Oh, I see. Well, it sucks to be you then. I feel so dumb. I went back to your old time splitters playthroughs from years ago, not knowing you were literally playing Future Perfect Live the past few days. Yeah, played through the whole storyline again over the past few weeks. It was good fun. Good fun to return to that. Um, and honestly, seeing it in, in like proper HD on a, on an emulator, oh, oh, so good. Like you really get to appreciate the design of that game and the style of it. Because it just, it still looks so good. Still does. Oh my goodness, thank you for the itty bitties, Jaybird. I'd have, <laughs> I haven't got anything set up for, for bits because I'm just like so... I never get anyone giving me bits, so I haven't even got like a screen thing. But thank you very much. Um, that's very, very kind of you. Uh, so what are your anticipa anticipations for the film? What are your thoughts on the next Bond being female? Oh, we're going to get into it. We're going to get into all this. Don't you worry. This is pretty much going to be a full-blown Bond discussion tonight. So if you don't like Bond, then I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. But yeah, I, I'm... Want to get in the Bond mood. Uh, anyway, right, I'll, I will carry on reading the chat in just a moment. Don't worry, I just want to get the game started first. So let me just close. Goodbye. Goodbye, painting. Let's get the emulator fired up. That one. Hopefully it's not too loud. <gasps> I didn't check the volume. EA Games. Challenge everything. I think we're okay. Come on, find the game. Or do I have to click on it? Come on, you silly thing. There we go. Well, that's not right. Oh my goodness, I set this all up perfectly and now it's buggered up. There we go. Right. I'm a professional streamer, don't you know? I'm not really. Oh, let's get the mouse out of the way. So one thing that is going to be definitely broken on this... Oh, let's just skip all this, by the way. This is just a tutorial, which I don't care about, frankly. And, yeah. Unfortunately, cutscenes like this are completely buggered. Um... <laughs> emulating it so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna skip these we're just gonna skip all that because they're all glitched out um, and we you know the story it's just a we don't care about the story this I think still works though do you know what I've never actually heard this This is good. Hmm. Nightfire. Nightfire. 
<laughs> That's not bad for a little, a little bond intro. Um, there we go. Although that Piers Brosnan does look a little bit strange there. Gonna be honest, he looks a little bit like he's out of it. Wait, are his eyes moving? No. He's just slightly moving overall. Anyway. Right, let's go back on the chat. I'm sorry, let's let's catch up, shall we? Uh, how is the Bond reading going? I finished it last night. Finally. I had one chapter left and I just left it for ages. Um, it was... It was good. Although, personally, I felt like a bit rushed at the end of Thunderball, the book. Oh. No, 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 no. Um, but it was good. I think I, a lot of the, so obviously the end of Thunderball is underwater fight, right? Because it's all about hiding nukes in the sea. And I, I think I moaned when I did my Bond review about Thunderball, saying that, oh, the underwater fights are so messy and you can't see what's going on and they didn't do a very good job depicting it. It's kind of messy in the book too, like... You, you can't really describe an underwater battle very clearly, I suppose. Um, but I did enjoy the book overall, I did. Uh, Alright, hang on, we want to make a code name, yeah. Bond? No. How do I backspace? Agent. Wait, can I do double O? Will that fit? Double O. Muck. Du Wait, I should have had a space in there. Double O Muck will do. Lovely. There we go. Uh, I'm going to go with... I tested this. I'm going to go with Nightfire. Oh god, I'm going to get... I just realised I'm going to get bloody muted because of this Bond theme, aren't I? <laughs> oh no! I'm going to start recording just in case I do and the VOD gets muted. So, let's just hope it doesn't. Uh, driving advanced options... Um, auto aim. Yeah, we're gonna leave that on. <laughs> we're gonna leave that on. Manual aim. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, AV options. How's the volume? Subtitles on. Widescreen on. Sorry, everyone, I should have done this beforehand. Confirm, there we go. Okay, right, I think we're good to go. In fact, I'm just gonna lower it just a little bit more. There we go. Continue. Double O muck. Uh, I have to watch, I'm really far behind in the chat now, I'm sorry. I have to watch the VODs and catch up. Yes, they're all on my second channel, so go and check them out there if you'd like. Uh, when No Time To Die is released, will you review it or at least give your thoughts? Oh, for sure. I'll probably end up writing something about it, I imagine, sticking it on the blog, which I really need to do something with. Uh, my art attack request I thought of was an artistic rendition of the head explosion scene from License To Kill. Oh, I would love to do that. I would love to do that. I'm going to do that anyway. Just for you. I'm going to do that. Is there potential spoilers for No Time To Die? I hope not. No one better say anything. Else you get banned. <laughs> but no, I've done okay avoiding Bond stuff for now. Uh, PS yeah, PS PCSX2 is jank. I agree, that's why I try and use Dolphin where possible, because Dolphin's a lot more um, stable to me. Uh, can I just say that I think Billie Eilish did a wonderful job of writing the song for the film. I think it really captures the essence of being Craigie's last film. 
I agree. It was a grower. It was a grower for me. At first, I didn't really like it. At first, I thought it was a little bit too similar to um, Writings on the Wall by Sam Smith. Uh, but the more I listened to it, the more I realized it wasn't like that. And actually, the lyrics were better. Um, I just think she just, yeah, it was a better song. He, that being said, Writing on the Wall has also sort of grown on me a little bit, but it's still not great. Uh, did I play Agent Under Fire? I did, but only on a live stream. I feel like for some reason a lot of books I've read are weirdly rushed at the end. Hmm. I feel that's just because they aren't really... Yeah, exactly, yeah. And Underwater fights probably aren't the easiest thing to write. So I don't blame Ian Fleming. He probably did his best. Uh, I've avoided everything, but I still have no idea when I'll actually see it. Oh, you need to get something booked, Super Flash. I couldn't, I couldn't live with that because I'd need to have like a set date to know when to s avoid stuff until. Um, I would have gone to the midnight showing in like three hours' time, but they bloody well cancelled it. So. 7 p.m. tomorrow is gonna have to be the one for me. Anyway, it's really, I need to get into the game. We need to get started, let's go. We're gonna go with agent difficulty. We're gonna skip the tutorial. We're gonna go straight on to the exchange. Let's go. James Bond is a new Doctor No. <gasps> oh my. Oh, hello. A redesigned piece of missile guidance hardware intended for the orbiting U.S. space weapons platform has been stolen. NATO has advised that recovery is critical. Should an unfriendly power reverse engineer this device, the platform's global defense capabilities would be severely compromised. Oh dear, she's going Most robotic. Intelligence implicates Raphael Drake in the theft. Hard to believe, as Drake is a respected green industrialist whose Phoenix International dismantles obsolete atomic reactors and decommissions nuclear arsenals. An allied agent planted in Drake's organization reports that Alexander Mayhew, a British expatriate who heads Phoenix's Japanese branch, is en route to Drake's castle in Austria. The stolen guidance device will change hands tonight during a formal gathering at the castle. Okay. Is that meant to be M? Whoa. Security teams are hardened men. As a double O agent, you may have to answer aggression with aggression. Good luck, Bond. Wow, very stealthy. There he is, though. There he is. Sadly, not actually voiced by Pierce Brosnan. Um, not like... Everything or Nothing really did that very well. Like, they got all the right voice actors. They had John Cleese, Judi Dench, Pierce Brosnan. Well, hidely ho, neighborino. Now it's just uh, kind of like knockoffs. Hey, I wanted Nightfire mode, you fool. There we go. Back. There we go. So, I think Casino Royale's title track will always haunt me. That's always been one of my top three, along with Skyfall and No Time to Die. I'm just pumped for it to come out in America. Casino Royale, yeah, I mean, it's, uh, you know my name is such a good song. Such a good song. And it was so different. And actually, looking back, we really haven't had one like that. Uh, actually, that's not true. I suppose Quantum of Solace was kind of rocky as well. But um, since then, it's all just been ballads, really, hasn't it? Like Skyfall, Writings on the Wall, and No Time to Die. They're all very kind of like ballady. It'd be good to have one like that again, like a more popish, popish, rockish, just something a bit different. Hello, Edmundo Studios. Welcome to the stream. It's not out until the seventh. Oh no, you are you are going to have to be on it when it comes to spoilers. I've already been spoiled a little bit, and the spoiler is saying it's really good. Like I went on BBC News this morning, and um, 
the most read news article was uh, No Time to Die hailed as magnificent by critics. I'm like, no, that's too much already. I don't want to know that. I'm sorry that I've just told, told all you that. But even that, I don't want that preconception going in. You know what I mean? I don't want to go in thinking, oh, people think this is magnificent. Because that's just, it just sets you up to be disappointed. You know what I mean? It sounds kind of silly, but yeah. Anyway, uh, is the game a bit too loud? To me, it might be a bit too loud. Let me know. Or is it okay? Let's get, let's get into this, shall we? Die. Oh, actually, I should have put on a... No, not that. Where is it? These are all my gadgets. Look at them. I thought there was a way to put... Ah, oh, there we go. Put on a silencer. Right. Good stuff. Yeah, I did a little test of it on the emulator on Dolphin, and it seemed to be pretty good. Apart from, obviously, the glitchy... Uh, the glitchy... FMVs. Goodbye. But, um, oh, I could have just used this. That's got something to do with the way that EA, EA video files are encoded and uh, NVIDIA graphics cards. I don't know. Look at the detail. Look at the breath. Look at the snow. Bam. So beautiful. Oh, hang on. Um, I love how you're all just geeking out about Bond in the chat. That just, it pleases me so much. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. So, um, what was I going to talk about? Oh, yeah, that's right. So, last night, uh, I watched Spectre. Because, obviously, No Time to Die somewhat carries on from Spectre. To what extent, I don't know yet, but it's has some of the same characters in there. So I, I felt like I had to go back and watch that because I honestly haven't watched it since it came out. Which I know sounds terrible if I call myself a Bond fan, but um, I just really didn't enjoy it that much. I just haven't ever bothered to go back. But I watched it last night and actually, you know what? It's, it's still bad. I still don't love it as a Bond film. But it wasn't as bad as I remembered. It had... It had some stupid decisions, I felt. Some really stupid plot points. But there were a lot of good things about it as well. A lot of good set pieces and... You know, the opening in Mexico is very good. Um, the train fight with... The big henchman guy. Also very good. Um, there's just a lot of crap. Like, there's a lot of silly, silly things in there. The whole stuff about... I could This could just turn into a full-blown review, but... The stuff they did making Bond and Blofeld semi-related as, as kids. Like, Blofeld just ended up with daddy issues because his dad liked Bond more than him. Like, it, why, why, why did they have to do that? They didn't have to make them related. It was perfectly fine with Bond being a spy and Blofeld being a bad guy. They didn't have to know each other. Um. Hello, come on. And don't even get me started on the whole 
brain drill scene. But that what a pointless, pointless, pointless part. Like honestly, it kind of just felt like. Oh. Um, it felt like they were like right. We wanna we wanna kind of make it a bit like the old Bond films. Like we wanna make it like Goldfinger, you know, with the laser on the table. We want something like that. So let's make it a drill. And then they go, oh, if you get drilled in this certain spot in your brain, you lose all your facial memories. And so Blofeld does that. And then it doesn't do anything. <laughs> like, what was the point if it's not even going to do anything? Can I actually sneak around here? Oh, I think I can. Oh, wow. This is cool. I'm pretty sure there was a way I could sneak on to the truck as well. Oh! Sneak onto the truck as well, but I missed my chance. Oh, easy does it. Easy does it now. Uh, I think it really depends on the story that they're trying to tell. I feel like with Casino Royale, the overall vibe of the film was dark and sketchy per se, and it was matched perfectly with Chris Cornell's voice. Yes, I agree. Am I using the beta dolphin version? Um, I honestly do not know if this is the beta one. No, this is... I think it's actually an old version that I need to update. It's 5.0-14344, <laughs> if that helps. I know, this is like Metal Gear, pretty much. This is Metal Gear levels of detail. Look at this. Do I have a list of favorite Bond games? How do I do this? There we go. Uh-oh. Is that my grip strength? Oh! No! Bond! Let go! Oh! Oh, that was close. Oh crap, I nearly fell off again then. List of favourite Bond games. I think up there has got to be... Everything or nothing, probably at the top, if not top three. Um, the From Russia of Love game I thought was also very good, which I was very tempted to play tonight, but I chose not to. And... Oh, quickly, go, go, go. Probably... It's got to be GoldenEye64, right, just for the... Just for the nostalgia of it. What? What? How? Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> I was just about to say that I was doing quite well. <laughs> Clearly not. But yeah, I think I think Everything or Nothing is pretty much the perfect Bond game. It has the right voices, it has a good storyline, it has a nice mixture of gameplay, it has a good multiplayer mode. It's just got everything. It's got challenges like the Bond, the Bond moments. It's got everything in it. It's just so good. So, so good. It's got a good soundtrack and good Bond opening. Ah, oh, right. That was fun. Let's do it all over again. Yeah, Spectre was very divisive. And it's just a shame that we've had to wait so long. Because, uh... Well. It would have been nice to have a better Bond film sooner. Right. Give me that. No more, no more time wasting.
I'm gonna get you. Boom. You're dead. How do I get on this? Can I sneak on here? Oh, well. Can I get run over by it? No. I can make it stop, though. And then wanted to get away from Austin Powers. Yeah, I know, right? One question is just how long will they will we have to wait until the next film? That's gonna be one long wait. Yeah. So part of me was hoping that uh, whilst the whole time that No Time to Die has been delayed for two years, I was hoping that they would have made some progress on like pre-production and maybe even already got the next bond sorted out. But then apparently I've just read today that Barbara Broccoli said they haven't even started looking for the next Bond. Like, it's going to be another six years, isn't it? Before the next Bond film. Which sadly means, this is this is the sad thing. I'm sorry, everyone. But I'm going to say it. Uh, we are now coming up to the longest time until the next Bond film. <laughs> In one day's time... We will have the longest wait. Should I go around that way again or should I go around this way? Let's just go this way. The GoldenEye game on the Wii wasn't bad. The actually, yeah, the GoldenEye remake was okay. It was okay. A lot better than bloody um, 007 Legends. That was poop. Don't you call the alarm. Hey. Perfect stealth, perfect, perfect. They're starting to look next year, ah. Oh. Well, better late than never. Oh crap. Wait, who's shooting me? Oh, you guys. Get out of it, will ya? Easy. Too easy. Stealth is just too easy. Right now, this thing. I'm not gonna make the same mistake this time. Right, I need my I need my laser, that's it. Okay, do not do the red ones. No, no, no. Do the green one. Yes, yes, yes. Bond moment achieved. Thank you very much. But yeah, uh, other things... Going back to Spectre just for a little bit, because I could ramble about this all day. Um... The so the like what am I trying to say? There there are parts of it that I really liked some elements of it. Where, for example, they kind of made um, M, Q, and Money Penny their own little team. I thought that was quite a nice little thing that I've ne not really seen before. Really, they didn't really do too much with it, but I kind of liked that just for something a bit different. Um. But for every every positive, there's always like a negative to go with it. So that little MQ and Money Penny team was pretty much focused on 
the guy from uh, Sherlock, Moriarty. What was his character's name? C. And oh my god, like what a just what a stupidly cartoony evil character. Like just so over the top evil. There was no trying to hide that he was the bad guy. You know what I mean? The way he played it. So he was just annoying and just yeah. A bit pointless really. Yeah, Legends does have a good good premise. Like the whole what is it, Bond being knocked out. Oh yeah, when he was hit by the the bullet on the train in Skyfall. Yeah. Being knocked out and then having flashbacks of all his past memories. Great idea. I think that's actually pretty solid for a concept. But um yeah, well, we all know how that game turned out. Are you following me? Nah, I'm good. I'm good. People wanted Henry Cavill to be the next James Bond. I don't know, I think he's too buff to play the role. Yeah... Yeah, I think by now he he's just he's got he's done too many things like you can't be Bond and Superman. I think I've said this before. That's too that's too much. That's not fair. Oh, bugger off. Uh yeah. I mentioned in my Discord the other day. But I really do think the next Bond actor should be someone relatively unknown. Not like a massive existing actor. Where is this stupid party then? Oh. Oh, here it is. Bye. Confirmed that Agent Nightshade and the Deep Cover Operative will rendezvous with you in the castle library. I trust you'll maintain a low profile, 007. I mean, there's people chasing me right now. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Never mind. We just waltz on in like nothing ever happened. No alarms were, were done. The guests won't take kindly to firearms. Keep them hidden to maintain a low profile. Fine. Okay. No guns. Uh, so not Chris Pratt. No, sadly not. <laughs> sadly not. Chris Pratt is just in everything now. He needs to be Mario, he needs to be Bond, he needs to be Batman, he needs to be... Um, what's another big role that changes a lot? Doctor Who. He could be Doctor Who as well. Although good news about Doctor Who as well, Russell T Davies coming back. Mmm, very interesting stuff. Uh, I guess they could make more games if they take a break with the films. Well. Yes, I see Super Flash has just responded, but uh, they are making a game, and I did read that uh, Eon, you know, the company that produces the Bond films, I think they've sort of realised that they haven't done enough to to sort of they haven't done enough with the Bond franchise recently. Um, basically, they could probably make more money, is what they're thinking. So they, they could probably do more merchandise, they could probably do more games. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if at some point we get like a Bond TV series or something weird like that. Like a Netflix thing. No, wait, wait, no, wait hang on. Didn't Amazon buy them? I think they did, right? So it's going to be like a Amazon Prime Bond TV show, perhaps. We shall see. Has the Bond team contacted you at all for a Bond casting call? Well, I'm just going to presume it's been lost in the mail. You know what the mail's like. Oh, post these days, you just can't can't trust anything. Or maybe they just got the wrong... Maybe there's a typo in the email address. Maybe just a typo. Right, hello, everyone. Hello. Enjoy the party. Oh, I will. Thank you. Thank you. Look at their faces. So realistic. 
Wait, have I got a... No, I don't want to stun him. Don't want to laser him. That'll probably get me caught. Enjoy the party. Oh, thank you. Aha. Uh -huh. Hello. Look at that detail. Look at that detail. What about you? Oh. Uh, oh. <laughs> Wait. Enjoy the party. Whoa. Seth Rogen. <laughs> just everyone that's in the Mario film just needs to be Bond now. Lovely painting. Hello. Hello. Oh my. You're gonna catch a cold wearing that. Hello. Hello. Uh, hello. Wow, everyone's just so friendly. Hello, hello, hello. How do you do? Hello. Pleased to meet you. Oh, and pleased to meet you too. Yes, yes. Do I know you? Oh. Hello. A lovely evening. Okay, right. To meet you. <laughs> it's a bit promiscuous. Hi. I think you should, ladies. I think you should go change. Honestly, like, look, these are not the stuff to be wearing in a castle. It's probably probably freezing in here. i got to say that the models look surprisingly good for being such an old game. Like, look at that. I think it's actually pretty good as far as the texture and the models go. What year did this game come out? 2000 and... Four, I think, or maybe three. No, maybe no. Wait, was it two thousand two? Hi. 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 Hello. How do you do? Hi. Jack Black. Jack Black can be Blofeld. Now, hello. is this gonna? Hello. Is this gonna? Hello. Fail the mission. Hi there. Listen, we're gonna do some laser eye surgery on you. <gasps> it doesn't. Ha ha ha. Hi there. There we go. Get rid of those cataracts for you. Hello. Hello, and you too. Twenty twenty vision. Hi. I'll send the invoice in the post. Hello. Yes. Yes. Enjoy the party. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hello. Hi there. Hi. That's a very nice necklace you have on there. Take a pick of her boobs. Lovely. Hello. <laughs> Charming. Uh, I want Danny to be to bond with Wes Anderson directing and the theme sung by the Baby Shark people. That sounds like some sort of uh did you dream that by any chance, Super Flash? Uh a lot of those textures were not visible properly, yeah. Like it's all do been, I know you? It's all been upscaled and everything, I guess, but very impressive nonetheless. Enjoy the party. I think I just saw your twin over there. Look at this party, it's bustling. At least to meet you. I'm waiting for someone. Oh, sorry, sorry. And uh, you would be... Bond. Bond James. Oh crap, I messed it Hi. up. Hi. Hello. Hello, oh, hi. Hi, hi, hi ladies, hi ladies. Hi, 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 hi. Hi there. Hello. <laughs> this is so strange. <laughs> uh, go, 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 go. Let's check. Imagine if these were the, the Bond underwear glasses. Oh, that's nice. Hello. Wait, they kind of are, actually. I like how you can see the smoke. 
That's a nice little detail there. Yes. Why is he warm around there? What that? Enjoying the view. Quite. Uh, yeah, very nice. I'm just gonna spend the rest of the game here, guys. This is lovely. Just get me a drink. I'll just chill out. Hi. Hi. Do a few laserings. Uh oh, you don't look as friendly. Get away. Not now. I'm busy. I can't go over how realistic that face is. I'm busy. If you could just stay right there one second. Not now. All right, fine. Excuse me. Go on then. Nightmare? Dream? Oh, hello. I'm busy. Are you? Well, buy them. Am I allowed in here? Oh, probably not in here, though. No party guests in here, sir. Wow, they're so in sync. No party guests in here, sir. No party guests in here. <laughs> Synchronized bouncers. No party guests in here, sir. <laughs> oh, secret, secret behind that. No, oh, never mind. Secret bookshelf. No. Anyway, how's everyone been? I always forget to ask at the beginning of the stream. Uh, again, no Sunday stream last week. I was just so sick. Honestly. I go out to meet some people from work for one night. One night, and then I catch something. Honestly. So I've just been ill the past four or five days now. No party guests in here, sir. You'd better return to the party, sir. All right then, fine. Hello. Hi. Hello. And I still do have a little bit of a cough, which I'm having to mute for as well, which sucks. Um, but I, I'm I'm doing a lot better. It's just my voice. I hate sounding like this. It sounds. I just sound ill. A lovely evening. A Great lovely fun. evening. Thank you, Edmundo. That's very nice of you to say. I am. Oh, I was just doing all this. Thank you all for accepting my invitation this evening. Your generous gifts have ensured the success of our World Refugee Fund. Once again, my gratitude to all for making the journey here. And now, Cocktails are waiting for you in the salon. Oh hell yeah! <laughs> Double gin tonic. Actually, no. Business to attend to. Um, hostess, won't you, darling? A bramble. Oh, maybe a mojito. It's lovely. I'm giving my cat a nice massage. Oh, everyone in the chat always talks about their pets and it makes me jealous. Damn you all. Damn you all and your pets. No, not really. I'm happy to hear that. Leds, leds, leds. Shots, shots, shots. I'm going to have a Jaeger bomb. I'm going to get wasted. What's going on over here? What does this lady want? You leave her alone. You'd better return to the party. A lovely evening. Oh, you're fine. Okay. Well, what's my objective? Uh, rendezvous with undercover agents. Okay. 
I think I'm doing quite a good job. Oh, wait, this is unattended. Can I go under? No. Fire. Oh, no, wait, it was here, wasn't it? It was here. Ah. Are you still able to work from home or is it fully back in person? Uh, I'm able to still work from home if I want. But that being said, I, the option is now there to go back to the office. And <clears throat> normally I would, well, I would, I'd like to go back a couple days just because I miss that in-person vibe that you just don't get at home. Don't get me wrong, I love working from home. I can get up late, I can go to bed later, and it just saves me time in the day. Um, it's been great, but in other ways it sucked because it has just sort of meant a bit of a disconnection from work. Um, so yeah, it's a mixture still at the moment. Damn. More so from home though. Oh. You're the deep cover agent? It's not as deep as it looks. Mm. Sorry to interrupt your debriefing, 007. Oh. Agent Nightshade. CIA. Dominique Paradis, French intelligence. Mayhew's arrived with the stolen guidance device. Drake just went to the conference room. I would imagine he's meeting Mayhew there. Take this key. You won't get far without it. I better get back to the party before I am missed. Bye. MI6 wants surveillance photos of that exchange. Right. I'll create a distraction for you while you make your way to the conference room. Is that dress standard company issue, Nightshade? Don't get any ideas, 007. It's armored in all the right places. <laughs> I don't think it is. You could easily get shot in the heart. <laughs> oh, wait, she means her. Oh. oh. Don't let drunk men get in your way. Use whatever means necessary to get to that meeting. Okay, so um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, about working from home. So yeah, I'm sort of, I'd say I try and go into the office at least once a week. Obviously this week I've been sick, so I've been, I've been smart and I've not done what my, <laughs> what my colleagues last week clearly did, which was go into the office while they were sick and cough over everyone. Again, it's not COVID, just want to make that clear. I haven't got COVID. Um, and it wouldn't even really matter if I did by this point, like I'm vaccinated, I don't think it'll be too bad. But um I think it really is just like a cold going around now, or like a flu. It's like, oh, oh, you've all you've all come out from your homes, have you? After a year, well, this is the this is the flu talking. If flus could talk, this is what they'd say. Oh, you all come out. I'm going to infect you all. Yeah, and then they jump on us, and yeah, that's how it works. So um, it'll be good when I'm better, and I go back in again. Uh, we are still not allowed to go into the office, but I have no desire. That's fair enough. That's, some people are loving, absolutely loving the work from home life. And I don't blame them. If that works for them, then why wouldn't you? It's one, one slight benefit of COVID, if you can call it that, is that it's really pushed working from home. Um, it's probably advanced that years, years and years before it's become, it would have become the norm. Like now it suddenly is. Uh, so yeah. Plus, when you're at home, you can watch Twitch and YouTube and don't have to worry in the world, not a care in the world. Where am I going? Spy on secret meeting. Where is it? Is it this way? Oh no! Okay, just run away from all that. Did they follow me? Oh, I don't think they did. Idiots. Joe! 
Oh god, that made me jump. Oh. Hello, Dennis. Welcome to some bond. Oh, hello. Get out of it. All these twins massacred. Such, such a heartbreak, honestly. Dennis, by the way, um, I did your... Uh, I did your... Um, art attack. I did it off screen. I showed it earlier in the earlier in the, the live stream. I will post it in my Discord. Just for you. I hope you like it. Why, why are they moving so weird? Are they drunk? Too many of those cocktails. Oh, that was it. Did it. Nice. Spy on secret meeting. The oh, I missed the hint. Looking forward to it. Good. I'm, I think you'll like it. I think it's. Uh, it came out pretty well. Here it is, Mr. Drake, the missile guidance module we stole from the Americans. I trust this effort brings us one step closer to globalization. You've saved our technicians considerable time, Mayhew. Can we accelerate the other Nightfire elements as well? Absolutely, sir. We're well underway training assault teams for the... Get your hands off me! Uh-oh. Out the hallway, sir. I was looking for the powder room. It's lockpicks and the 9mm? Hey, it's a tough neighborhood. If this security breach leads back to Japan, it's your head, Mayhew. Secure this in the safe room. I doubt she's alone. Lock the castle down. Now! <laughs> Bond is right there. To the cable car station. I don't want her interrogation to upset the guests. Interrogation? What kind of party is this, anyway? Surely that's like the least hidden. The least hidden Bond could have been. Oh dear. Right. Let's go out the window. Wait, do I not have my... Uh... Oh, I don't have my sniper rifle anymore. Ho oh, ho ho, look at those. Look at those shots, everyone. With the auto-aim. Don't you love to see it? Right, okay, so where do we go? What do we do? Retrieve guidance ship from safe room. Oh! Is that back in there? Oh, screw it. Oh yeah. Where am I getting shot from? Who's shooting me? Get out of it. Right, where is this vault safe thing, whatever it is? Yeah, that's the cable car. I don't need to go there quite yet, I don't think. Oh, 
Oh no, reload. Uh, this looks like it's aged a lot better. Yeah, to be honest, I mean, Goldeneye is a lot of rose-tinted um, spectacles, really. I mean, at the time, kind of revolutionary, but if you try and play it today, it's not great. Uh, I guess I don't do that. I guess I need a key card for that or something. And let me put my x-ray specs. Oh, that's bright. That's very bright. Uh, this is not based on the movie, no. This is a... Uh... 100% original. Oh wow. Everyone die. Wait, 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 was I meant to go all the way back here? I don't think I was. Hint. Uh, the guidance chip is locked up in a safe. Check the stairs leading down from the conference room. You'll undoubtedly find the... Ah, oh, it was the laser I was meant to use, not the stun. Right. Gotcha. Are they remaking GoldenEye? Wait, really? I did not know that. I know there was that GoldenEye Source, or whatever it's called, like the Source Engine version. There we go. Those early 3D games with no dual analog movements like GoldenEye and Tomb Raider, I find hard to get back into. Yeah. Yeah. I'm the same. I think you look back on them fondly because it's sort of like that's all you had at, at the time. But, you know, games have just changed so much in terms of controls. Get in here. Do these open up? No. Well, the Tomb Raider is a game I've never actually played. Oh, 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 oh. Man, this laser watch can do everything. Anyway, I was going to talk about, um, so uh, Jay Bird mentioned earlier, uh, what are my anticipations for the film? Uh, no Time to Die. So, obviously I'm not going to spoil anything because I can't spoil it. I haven't seen it. I haven't really, I've tried to avoid most of the trailers and interviews like Graham Norton. I've, I've avoided all that. Um, the most I can go off is the first trailer, I think, that they released. But my antici anticipations are or at least what I hope they do, is obviously from the trailer we know something's going on with Madeline, right? But we don't know what. So what I hope is that they don't do another, oh, Bond is betrayed by his lover. They did that. They did that with Vespa in Casino Royale. We don't need another one. Um, whoa. Whoa. I hope the film ends and I hope that Daniel Craig's time as Bond ends in a really nice, normal, boring Bond way. Like, I want Bond to go into the office, kind of like Skyfall. I want Bond to go into the office, M's there and is like, reporting for duty, sir. End of film. Do I want that? I think I do. I don't know. 
I don't want another one of like Bond walking off into the sunset or driving off into the sunset um, with his with the love of his life. You know, oh, this is the one who made him leave the the double O program. No, no. I think Bond will always be double O. So they need to stop with these like fake outs. You know what I mean? But we shall see. We shall see from tomorrow. Oh, there you are. Hello. Come on. Let's get out of here. Yes, let's. Do I need to Oh. Oh, baby. Okay. Wow. guide them. Oh, 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 oh. That's cool. Oh. Whoops. <laughs> Bam. Speed run right there. Come on. Nice landing, James. Why do you always seem to end up on top? Uh, a lower center of gravity? Hmm. I'm not too sure about that Bond voice actor. Could they not have got someone at least a little bit like Piers Brosnan? <laughs> like, that's just nothing like Piers Brosnan. <clears throat> yeah, not, not great. Not great. Also, she definitely would have broke her back then, the way she landed. Come on. I hope Danny DeVito shows up and kills Bond just to prove that there is time to die. And he's got his green eggs as well. I finally watched that episode uh, last night. Because I've seen that gif so many times where it's just Danny DeVito and the camera going, egg! <laughs> And I finally know where it comes from. Uh, no, they didn't remake GoldenEye. Xbox Live Arcade was going to remaster it, but it got cancelled. There was gameplay video somewhere on YouTube. Oh. Oh, interesting. Okay. <clears throat> the dialogue is questionable. Yeah. Kind of uh, part and parcel for a Bond game is terrible dialogue for the most part. Anyway, we've got a gold medal for that. Excellent. Let's look at our stats. Good, we got both Bond moves. 47 kills. Uh, accuracy, we'll ignore that. And the health, and the time. Oh dear. Uh, yeah, let's save. Oh, Zoe Nightshade, hello. Right. I seem to remember a remake or remaster in the... Yeah, so there was a... Um, there was a GoldenEye remake, which kind of... It was called a remake, but it was very different. Um, in a good way, I liked it. The problem with Goldeneye in particular is just it's such a um, it's such like a mess of of copyrights and and legal ownership because you've got it was by Rare who are now obviously Microsoft and it's 
It was a Nintendo 64 game, and it's just like, it's wrapped up in so many legal mumbo jumbo, I don't think it ever saw the light of day. Okay, <clears throat> I am starting to lose my voice, which is not a good sign, but we will press on with the Alpine Escape. Is this going to be anything like Call of Duty? Like that Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 level? Maybe? I could do that. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This is not good. We're going to skip this. Oh, hello. This is weird. Why are we doing like a... Wait, am I meant to be driving? Oh no, wait, she's driving. Okay. No, can, can we go? Wait, was I facing the wrong way the whole time? I think I was. Oh, I'd rather be the one driving. Bon moment. Bon moment, baby. Where am I facing? Behind us, James. Behind us. Thank you. This is kind of cool, actually. Like, not terrible. Bond vehicle sections are usually not great. Look out, James. They're up ahead. Oh, no. One moment. Oh, yeah. Don't know what I did. Is it because I shot Behind the grill? James. Yeah, from stealth to this. Maybe I should have tried the stealth more in that first level. On the left. Oh well. I'll do it next time. In another eight years. When I play this game again. Behind us, James. Behind us. Okay. Goodbye. Who's shooting me? Oh crap. What did I just do? I don't know. Killed those people. Phew. Looks like we shook them off. It's not over yet. Back into the woods. Nice. Oh, you're still alive. Get away. There is a lot of crap happening on screen.
Okay, um... To be fair, the, the glitchiness isn't that bad. Like, you can still see what's going on. It's just those weird lines. And the other Bond game I tried to emulate, um... From Russia with Love, it was a lot worse. For some reason. Yes, this is how I sound now. Oh. Um, nice. Bond teams up with the trash man. <laughs> oh. uh, okay, so we've got gold. Again, somehow we got gold. I thought I did terrible on that, really. 80% health, 58% accuracy. I'll, I'll take that. Oh, only three out of the five bond moves, though. Oh, well. Let's save that. Military snowmobile. Oh, I really am losing my voice. <clears throat> And, oh, multiplayer mode, right, gotcha. Well, I'm on my own, so <laughs> never mind. Enemies vanquished. Oh, we, oh, we got the Aston Martin. Have they brought it back? Does it turn invisible? Let's find out. I am a gold medalist, I am. I always disliked missions like this in old games. They always had bad controls and you would die randomly. Ooh. But you look like you needed the rest. I don't recall getting much rest at all, James. Wait, they're really going to do another car section? Oh, man. It's weird. It's weird to have two driving sections in a row. I guess that first one wasn't really driving. It was more like an on-rails thing. Yeah, those, I agree, Dennis. Like those things, are, unless they really do have like loads of explosions and stuff just to keep me entertained, they do get a bit dull. That one I thought was actually pretty good for the for the most part, um, and not too long either. Sometimes they're just really long. Oh, this one has a timer. Four and a half minutes. Let's go. Let's go. Oh dear. Okay. Smoke screen. Whoa. I don't know what I just did then. Am I using my machine gun? One moment. Yes. Holy moly. Oh, that's... Okay, I got it, I got it, I got it. Missiles, maybe? Ooh. Okay, okay, we're doing all right. Take that. You silly bint. Okay, that person's dead. Oh, I think that was ammo then, I just missed.
Right, I'm concentrating. Oh yeah. Missed the ammo again. Hey, I'm gonna go back. And... No, but it's on there. I did it. Never mind. No, I didn't. Oh, bit of slow down. Lots of enemies on screen. Uh, okay, let's get rid of these guys. Boom. Through the trees, easy peasy. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Oh, there's some armor. Give me that. Cool. Okay. Great. We must leave soon. That's a terrible Q accent impression. I'm sorry, but it is. Nice. Welcome aboard, 007. Nailed it. Another gold medal. I just can't stop getting gold, everyone. The best 007 video game player known to man that's me the run animation is like a true bond I think I need to catch that Bloodstone had some it did Bloodstone had some really bad driver missions they were so they were even more on rails than this which is ridiculous because it came out so many years afterwards um, yeah even um, from Russia of Love the the PS2 one with Sean Connery. Even that's driving sections wasn't very good, to be honest with you. Uh, the James Bond voice act, voice actor sounds like he just woke up from the bed uh, and started getting ready. Yeah, yeah, not great. I could do a better job than him. Ready? Wait, what was one of his lines? Um, uh, Bond. Oh, wait. <clears throat> yes. No, wait. I'll co let me come back to that. Let me come back to that. I feel like helicopters exploding onto ice that you're also driving on isn't the most realistic thing. Listen, listen. Bond knows all there is to know about driving on ice. He's an expert. They are very short, these missions. Yes, you're right. Just the way I like it. Because it means if you die, there's not a huge amount you lose. Hello, General Skaver. Skaven. Hi, a guy building the Simpsons Town on City Skylines. Yes. Yes, $2.20. Good videos. Very good videos. Bond, MI6 has been contacted by Alexander Mayhew, Raphael Drake's chief of Asian operations. Mayhew fears that Drake intends to kill him, holding him responsible for their little setback in Austria. In exchange for our protection, Mayhew will deliver evidence exposing Drake's master plan, codenamed Nightfire, a scheme that Mayhew insists threatens global security. The name's Bond. James Bond. Terrible, terrible. I could do better than Mayhew's that. Mayhew's son is expecting you. Mayhew has one demand. To be brought in by James Bond himself. Our informant awaits you at his Japanese estate. Good luck, 007. Also a bad M. M sounds too young. 
Okay, here's my impression, ready? Oh, hello. Oh my. Ah, Mr. Bond, at last. This is Kiko Hayashi, my bodyguard. I assure you, she is quite skilled. No doubt. The Nightfire data made you. We weren't expecting other guests. Please, stay with Alex. It's Drake. Quick, we must get to the security bunker. Oh God. Oh God. Neo's here. Uh, okay, so ready? Here's my one. <clears throat> the name's Bond. No, that's bad. Hang on. No, you gotta hang on. <clears throat> Maybe the sick voice will help with this. It'll make it sound more more like suave. Bond. No, that was that was bad as well. But it's actually quite hard to do this. Bond. <laughs> I'm just gonna sit here for the rest of the stream going. Bond. No. Bond? No. Bond? <laughs> hey, Mad Hegits. Welcome to the stream. Um, we're currently playing some Nightfire. We're a few missions in. Um, it's going all right, actually. It's not going too bad. Going a lot better than it did before. Uh, have I ever played Constructor from System 3? I have not. I'm not sure what that is exactly. Uh, been on the search for fuel, gonna have to get up stupid early to try and get some... Oh, God. Yes, the, the lovely fuel shortage we've been facing here in the UK. People go crazy. Whenever whenever the general public hear about, oh, there's an incoming shortage of stuff, they just go crazy. Toilet roll. Petrol. Ugh. Oh, God. Is there like a, a melee? Oh, whoops. I want to whack people. Judo chop. Do I have a golden gun? Nice. Oh, never mind. I'm not going anywhere till you check the hallway. Oh, well, I should have thought that would happen. I thought it wouldn't even let you shoot on him. If the cursor was that, it wouldn't even let you shoot. I was wrong. Bam. Speed run. Leave Peter alone. No, wait. What's your name? Alex. Leave Alex alone. Sorry. Oh, whoops. Oh, sorry, Alex. Didn't... Accident. Give me that. Oh no, sorry, just so many stray bullets. Maybe take a sip of whiskey and do the impression again. Hang on. Hang on, I've got some cold tea. Bond. No, I said, why do I say it so angrily for? Although sometimes, sometimes he does say it like that, doesn't he? Sometimes it's just like Bond, James Bond, he just wants to get on with it. But other times he's like, Bond. It's like he's smiling while he says it, you know what I mean? James Bond. But that, was, that turned a bit camp there in the end. So <laughs> maybe not that either. I'm not going anywhere till you check the hallway. Yes, I'm going to check the hallway for you. Oh, oh dear. Uh, how do I get that other gun? Aha! Uh -huh. 
Be quiet out there, will you? Okay, cameras, very good. Uh oh, is he getting attacked? Oh god. Where did you come from? Are you okay? Oh no. Oh dear, what's wrong with your face? Let's give you a shave. Why have I got a shaver? What was that? Oh, I think it was a bomb. Oops. Um, have I seen the meme that the Simpsons predicted the fuel crisis? Oh, I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. Bloody Simpsons has done everything. System 3, you know, uh, you may be known as a UK games company. Are they the ones that did System Shock? Is that why it was called System Shock? I don't know. I feel like this whole petrol thing is only going to push more people towards electric. One can only hope. One can only hope, can't you? I think if I, um, whenever I finally learn to drive, someday, <laughs> I would love to, I would like to have an electric car. I think that'd be really cool. Um, but yeah, I think, uh, give it like, well, actually there is a date for the UK. There is a date where they're going to stop selling diesel cars or, or petrol cars. Or what is it? It's not that far away, to be honest with you. It might be like 10 years away. Um, so, you know, we shall see how it goes. Just give me self-driving cars, then I don't even need to learn. That That's the dream. That's the dream. You, you guys need to, you need to shut up now. To the right. Done. Oh, hello. Wow. How's it going? Can I get past? I want to pick up some ammo. Alright, that's the way I came. Okay, gotcha. The muck with the... Exactly. The muck with the golden gun. Pond, James Pond. I saw that somewhere. There is a game called James Pond, isn't there? Wait a minute, what is it called? Let me just get Chrome open. Is it James Pond? Yes, yeah, James Pond, underwater agent. It's a 1990 pl platform video game. God, there's loads of them. James Pond in the Deathly Shallows. James Pond 3, Operation Starfish. James Pond Operation, no, code name Robocod. Wow. This level is just Chinese. It really does. It has that style, doesn't it? The the Chinese map in um, Tanspiz, for sure. Where did you go, Alex? There you are. 2030. Okay, so yeah, what, nine years away? Blimey. As if it's nine years away from 2030. Ooh. Maybe try doing ASMR. What, like, the name's Bond. James.
James Bond. <laughs> Go away, will you? I'm trying to do ASMR. Oh wow, huh. hello. Playing The Sims 3 I think is the best. Sims is very good. I don't play enough Sims to be honest with you. I really don't. Uh, driving awesome autos for the week, manual gearbox or go home boys. I would definitely learn. I would for hundred percent, hundred percent. I would learn manual because I think it's just more useful. Just in case you ever need to drive a manual, um, but I would buy an auto for sure. Listen, I want driving to be. I'm not a petrol head. Maybe, maybe I am, and I just don't know it because I don't drive and I don't really have a car. Well, obviously, I don't have a car, but um, maybe, maybe I am a petrol head. But until I am, I want driving to be the easiest thing in the world. Don't want to have to worry about changing gears. I just want to press a pedal and go from A to B. That's all I want. Close to the bunker now. But yeah, learning a manual I think is very, very uh, useful. I want samurai armor statue. This reminds me, this is pretty cool looking. This reminds me of a bit from... Um, Is it Moonraker? Where Bond's having the fight with the henchman and there's like one of these in the middle of the room. I think it's Moonraker. Ooh. Oops. Oh, how clumsy. Oh, can I use that? No. Just as a little reminder to anyone new, that's <laughs> new that came into the stream later, if I ever pause uh, and go quiet, it's because I'm muting to cough. Just, just in case you're wondering. Uh, right. Uh, I'd like to watch Johnny English. That is, Johnny English is a classic. I love the first one. Still haven't watched the other ones though. Johnny English is kind of like, it's like an alternate universe to, uh, Austin Powers in a way. Where am I going? Where am I going? Not here. Oh, down here. I started to drive when I was 25. Didn't find it easy at all. Oh no, don't say that. Don't say that. Say it's really easy and I'll, I'll pick it up straight away. Please, just humor me, you know? I don't want to spend loads of money learning to drive. It is expensive. And actually quite difficult at the moment. I think there's a big backlog because of everyone having to lock down. It's actually quite difficult to try and get uh, lessons at the moment. What you're looking for is locked in my bedroom safe. This is the key. Just feed it to the dragon. The dragon? Right. Keep your head down. I'll be back for you. Also, could you wipe the hard drive on my computer? I don't want to leave a data trail for Drake to follow. And please protect my servants. They're like family to me. Anything else, your highness? Joe, you know I'm just going to give you just a little, just a little zap because you're annoying me. There we go. Uh, one more as well. There we are. Uh, actually. I just didn't know when to stop.
Muck, if you buy an automatic, I will take time out of work to put fuel in my car, come down and slap me. Bring it on. Let's do a drag race. Press action for camera view. What camera view? Oh, this one. I don't care about that. The, do I know the Reliant Robin? I certainly do. Future YouTube video, angry British guy yells at drivers from his Mini Cooper. He just called me Mr. Bean. <laughs> I'll be Mr. Bean. Little Teddy. Oh, go away. I haven't even got started yet. What do I need to do? Destroy Mayhew's computer and rescue the geisha girls. Okay. Uh, there's two of them. Don't let Drake's Yakuza, Yakuza harm them. Uh, one of them is sure to be in the bathhouse. Right. <clears throat> Uh, he likes to work in a waterfront pavilion overlooking one of his gardens. Okay. Good to know. I own a Reliant Robin as a project car for a restoration. That's cool. That's cool. That See, that is one of the things I, I think I would really like that aspect of a, of, of cars. Um, like taking an old car and doing it up. That would be really cool. And like finding the finding all the parts for it and getting a nice paint job on it. Yeah. I'd do that. Probably be very expensive though. Oh, there's one. Leave her alone. You saved my life. How will I repay you? If I live through this, I'll need a large sake and one hell of a massage. Jesus, come on, Bon. There's a time and a place. We're in the middle of a... Oh. Put it away, will ya? Also, she sounded like the aliens from Toy Story then. You saved my life. We are eternally grateful. Yep. Get out here, then. There's bad guys everywhere. You silly woman. Not sure you could be Mr. Bean. I think of you more like the British version of Adrian. Oh. Oh. That is a... Oh. Where am I going? I don't know. There's loads of people everywhere. Very nice. Uh oh, reload. Okay, good, 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 good. That was a pretty bad aim. But I wasn't even aiming at all. Why 
Why am I not using the shotgun? Do I even have the shotgun? Yes, I do, and I haven't been using it the whole time. Stupid. Right, anyway, let's blow up the computer, which is... There. Oh, that Bond would definitely have, like, a line there, wouldn't he? He'd be like, what would the line be? Um, uh, seems like... Seems like you've got a virus. <laughs> That's really bad. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Uh, seems like your computer has crashed. No, nope. not happy with that one either. I think this needs a shutdown. One of those will work. One of those will work. Ooh, a sniper. A uh, thing that puts me off of this E10 fuel now is it doesn't support the Robin as it's carbureted, uh, so it's going to be hard to run. The main thing I have to fix up is, is the body and fiberglass has to be done right or it will be bad and just fall apart. Yeah, you don't want that. You don't want your car falling apart. Um, <clears throat> reload animations hold up quite well. Most of the animations, I'd say, in this game are holding up quite well, um, which is good. You can't be James Bond without kissing an attractive woman. Yeah, it's just he picks the most inappropriate times. Now we know three wheel cars need to have two wheels at the front and one wheel at the back. Now that would be something. I think that looked quite cool. Uh, they don't fall over like they do in the TV, that's... Oh, okay, right. So it's the driver's fault when they when they tip over. It always is. Looks like this computer needs to troubleshoot. That's a good one. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hang on. Pretend I haven't blown up yet. This is the line. This is the line. Seems like this needs some troubleshooting. That's that's it. That's it. Did I wipe his history? Oh crap. Did I do the extra bit? Uh I think so. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, there's one more geisha girl. Don't shoot her. There we go. Oh crap. I'm so close to dying. Oh, reload. Oh, I should have died then. Hello. I really would like some armor, but oh well. What do we do now? Find door to servants' quarters. Seems like you forgot to wipe your bottom. No, wait. Why do I hear bad guys still? Where are they? Ah, there we go. We did it. Oh, crap. No, we haven't. 
<clears throat> What's our objective? Retrieve dragon safe contents. Well, hidely ho, neighborino. Rescue the servants. Okay. Hi, diddly ho. Neighborino. I want to be like in The Simpsons where they they go to Japan and Homer just walks through all the uh, <clears throat> the paper doors. What are you doing back there? No. Ah, secret door. No, naughty. Oh, how did I miss that? How did I miss that? Alright, good. Have I got some armor? Excellent. Nice things came from the UK like the band Queen. And me. Don't forget me. Someone's trying to snipe me. We'll see about that, won't we? I see you. <laughs> it seems to get a new line. Why did they only record one line for the bad guys here? Uh, I like a lot of bands from the UK. My favourite is in the moment is Coldplay. Oh. Good. There is a lot of good music from the UK. I'm actually not a massive music listener in general. Um, which... I don't know. I just, I've never... Like a lot of people are like, oh, how can you not listen to... I don't know. Say if you're walking. Um, listening to to music or something and it's just like eh, I just prefer to listen to the stuff going on around me that being said there are obviously some bands I like um, and oh crap hang on wait a minute Uh, I actually booked I booked some concert tickets last week to go see Kings of Leon uh, next year at the O2, which is going to be good, the O2 Arena in London. So that's going to be fun. Um, and obviously, very, very soon, uh, the new ABBA album is coming out, which is just bizarre. There's going to be a new ABBA album in 40 years. Uh-oh. Uh, Coldplay is was too soft for me though. <laughs> Definitely, yeah. Definitely not to Slipknot for sure. Um, Coldplay is a funny band. Like there's some people that like Coldplay, and then there's a lot of people who just absolutely detest Coldplay with a passion. Like really don't like them. I don't mind them. They're fine.
Yeah, yeah, same with Nickelback, yeah. Some people like them, some people will just like the memes, you know? There we go, there we are, Dennis, that's it. Thank you for uh, uh, demonstrating. <laughs> What do I need to do? Oh yeah, rescue the servants. How many are there? Oh, I keep I forget about the um the glasses. Uh actually they're kind of no. Nah. Never mind. Oh, I'm kind of lost now, actually. Where do I go? I don't know. Oh no, the chat has mobbed. Go and find him. What's his name? Chris. Chris something or other. Is that a door? That's not a door. Is that a door? That's not a door. Did I see the Back to the Future musical? I did. I did see the trailer for that. I am actually quite tempted to go see it. At first I thought, that's silly. Like, that's kind of stupid. But, um... Then I saw the trailer for it and I thought, well, actually... Is it a stupid idea? It looks kind of fun, I'm not going to lie. So I probably will go see it, to be fair. Ooh. The dragon safe. Where did you come from? Okay, so that was that one done. Find door leading to Mayhew. Uh, look for the wooden door with the circular pattern at the end of a large hallway. I think I've already come across that. Large door with circular pattern at the end of a hallway. Okay. Chris Hansen, oh, hopefully not. <laughs> Um, my tastes are flexi flexible like games that I only don't like puzzle games and sports games and cell phone games. You don't like puzzle games? Aww. But yeah, sports and mobile, I'm with you there. For the most part. I don't really get musicals. It seemed cringe, but maybe it's supposed to be. I, I get what you're saying, Dennis. I kind of thought the same as well before I went to any. I was sort of like, ugh. Uh, I don't know. I don't think I'm going to like this. But then I went to a few. Um, so I've actually seen quite a few now in terms of musicals. I've seen, <clears throat> in terms of big ones, um, Wicked, um, Book of Mormon was very good. I think you would really like Book of Mormon, Dennis. If you, I know like, you're a fan of South Park, right? Book of Mormon was brilliant. Um because it's set, guys who made South Park did the, the musical. And Bat Out of Hell, Waitress. Recently saw Come From Away, not too long ago. And um, the thing is, is like, yeah, they, they are kind of, oh, that's the door. They are kind of cringe in a way because it's just the, the very act of like bursting into a song is kind of weird and sometimes the story is like really stupid 
But I think when you're in the moment, like actually seeing it live and the fact you're hearing an orchestra play and there's people doing these really complex dance routines and singing and acting and doing everything all in one go. It is very impressive. Like you're just, you're just caught in the moment. And um, yeah, so they're definitely, I, I, I used to not be a fan at all, but now I would, I would consider myself quite a big fan of musicals. Um, the one I would really like to go see, obviously I'm sure a lot of people have seen it on Disney Plus, is Hamilton, but I haven't actually seen it um, in person, which I'd love to. I also want to. I want to see one that has lots of tap dancing. There's something about tap dancing that's very satisfying. We're finished here, Mayhew. Let's go. I guess it's the sound. What about Kiko? Have you seen her? She's a big girl. I'm sure she can take care of herself. Wait here. Let's get moving. <gasps> oh my god, it's Black Panther. Where's my shotgun? <laughs> this is running around this fountain. <laughs> I think I missed every shot. Ow. Run away. Never mind. Never mind. That was actually quite easy. in my safe will lead you to the Nightfire evidence, the Phoenix building in Tokyo. Tokyo? You'll need the password to the mainframe. It's Afterburn. I thought the evidence was here, Mayhew. I did a little extra insurance policy to keep me alive. A lot of good it did me have. <laughs> you silly bint. I was pinned down. Alex. I promise you, Drake will pay. Kiko, you're not safe here. Come with me. So I was going to try and snog her then. Uh, we only got bronze. That's kind of bad. I went away for a bit and I'm fine. Yeah, yeah, things things got a bit out of hand there. And the guy that we were trying to protect died, so... Fat a lot of good that was. No, actually, he gave us some info. It's fine, it's fine. Uh, Rockstar banned the word GTA 6 from their channel. <laughs> They're just sick of people asking about it. <clears throat> right. I'm just going to see what the next level is. Oh, great, we unlocked Mayhew. Whoop de doo. So, we're going to Tokyo, I think. Alex's code key and password should get you into the Phoenix mainframe, but they'll have the whole building locked down by now. Anything can be penetrated with the proper tool. For goodness sake, Bond. While you've been hard at work, oh, no. so has Q Branch. You will find several useful items have been added to your inventory. Tranquilizer darts for inconveniently placed guards, silent and non-lethal. A decryptor to hack computers, keypads, elevator controls, etc., etc. And finally, the Q worm. Q? There's a lady present. Plug this virus into one of the computer terminals, and the worm allows MI6 to monitor their systems. 
Please try to return these tools in usable condition. But I shan't hold my breath. Q out. James, we need to hurry. The guards change shifts in 30 minutes. Okay, 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 whoa, 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 right. We need to talk about that queue design. Why? Why? Why a polka dot dicky bow? Just, just why? It would have been okay, I think, without that. But it's like, oh, how do we show that Q's a nerd? Oh, let's give him a little bow tie, like he's a mad scientist. Oh, terrible. Take that. Gotta find the time crystal. Time to split. Uh, don't worry, GTA 5 and Skyrim will be launch titles for the PS6. By the time that the PS6 comes out, I might have just got a PS5. The Q stands for quirky. I'm so quirky. Uh, games industry is getting really more money focus and quality of the... Well, yeah. I think, at least for AAA games, like that sort of, that whole industry has changed. And, you know, now, now that season passes, DLC, microtransactions are the norm. They really are. They are the norm now. Um, that's just going to be the way it is. I think... If you get sick of that, the thing to do is take a step back from that and just focus on indie. Indie games have never been better. So that's the way to go. For example, I mean, this isn't really, I guess it is kind of an indie game. Um, there is a new DLC for Outer Wilds that was released today. Well, no, was it today or a couple days ago? Oh, Echoes of the Eye. I'm very excited about that. Where did that guy go? Excuse me. Oh, was that the same guy? Did he just get up? Wait, or did you come from here? Oh. Raise the alarm. Don't do that. Don't do that. That's the alarm. I'm not going to press that. Speaking of Rockstar, they were actually going to make an original IP called Agent, but for... Oh, I remember hearing about that. I remember about that. That would have been amazing. Imagine a spy game with the money and resources that Rockstar could put into it. Oh, that'd be amazing. Raise the alarm! No. Press action. There we go. Office floor laser trip switches test cycle. Now running. Cycle will complete in four minutes. This is cool. This looks good. I like this little hologram thing. The game was meant to take place in 1970s Cold War era. That sounds really good. What a shame. What a shame. That never... There was a... Uh, what was that other game that was meant to be... Re uh, um, it was something to do with Rockstar. Oh, that was it. It was the team that made L.A. Noir. They were working on another game as well. But then they went under, so the game got cancelled. It was like a... I think it was set in... Oh, what was that? It was like set in Hong Kong or something, I want to say. Might be getting that wrong, but that looked really good. 
Just do what I do, play the PS2, yeah. <laughs> True. No uh, no season passes there. But in a game like God of War comes out and gives me a little bit of hope, yeah. Every now and then, you can't get too cynical. That's the thing. You just can't. As much as I like to, sometimes you have to be impressed. Uh, I still love all the old Call of Duties, but the new ones around Black Ops 2, I lost all love for... And now I can't even stand them. Oh, I really wouldn't know. It's just really, I outgrew that very quickly just because I was so bad, so bad at those games. Uh, game, yes, Game Pass is very good actually. That is an excellent suggestion. Um, especially considering Game Pass now has, um, doesn't it have EA stuff in it as well now? Like, the amount of games you have access to with Game Pass is ridiculous. Very, very good stuff. I really like this Bond theme. This is really good. This, like, sneaky version. Oh. Yeah, okay, it is in there. Good. I had um, I had Game Pass for a while on PC because I had like a one pound free trial. That probably is still going. Complete in three minutes. Oops. Well, that was a waste. This is a really cool level design. This looks great. I am, was, one of the only people who played COD for the story alone. No, I mean, some of the, I think, I for the Modern Warfare series, I know the, the story was a bit crazy and a bit over the top, because it kind of had to be, right? But um, I quite liked the story of Modern Warfare 2 when I played it, the story mode. I thought it was quite good. I mean, that was the one that had the mission in the airport, which was obviously very controversial, but, uh, ooh. Cycle will complete in two there's minutes. someone over there! No, there's not. Like, that sort of gameplay, the story is, the, I thought it was really clever. Like, putting you in that position in a game. Kind of like what people say about Spec Ops The Line as well. Um... I don't really know where I'm going now. Find the security center and un unlock exterior door. Also, Microsoft. Oh, right, yeah, well, the Bethesda games are going to be on there as well. Mm hmm. Whenever they finally come out. This is actually really cool. This is a really great vibe. This has reminded me of um, Cycle will complete in <clears throat> um, one minute. Skyfall. Right, don't trip the alarm. Raise the alarm. No, don't do that. <laughs> Poor guy. Back down you go. Come on. He only just got up as well. Cycle 
cycle will complete in 10 seconds. Uh, there's a trick that still works, buying a code for 12 months gold. Office floor laser system now oh. active. Crap. What did I just do? There was a laser. Oh, there was a laser. Uh, there's a trick that still works, buy 12 months gold. And then one month ultimate game pass converts to 13 months ultimate. For wow, okay. Edmundo with the top tips here in the chat. It is very perfect dark, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, honestly, the subscription services have great value. Game Pass probably has the biggest variety. You play Plus, EA Play Pro, and PS Now. Wow, there's so many. <clears throat> Are all great deals. Yeah. Yeah. If you are a big gamer and you play a lot of games like Dennis, I imagine that you play a very big variety of games. Um, if you're that type of gamer, they're probably a dream come true. <laughs> here I am. Instead, here I am playing 19-year-old uh, games. 19-year-old games? Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna get caught by the camera. Did it. Goodbye. Goodbye. Crap. I'm out. I am at, oh, coffee machine? Yes, no, never mind. Eight, six, four, eight, okay. Raise the alarm. Oh, right, I can't actually kill him. Well, bugger. Where's this? Where, where, where do I start? Oh, I should have used my Q worm. Silly me. Am I all the way back here? Oh. Cycle will complete in three minutes. Oh. Okay, well, anyway, I think it is time to end off the stream. My voice, if you, if you like scroll back to the start of the stream, my voice would be sounding very different, but it is really starting to go now. Um, so that sucks, but anyway, it's fine. I'll go have a nice soother. I sound like an old man. Uh, new Halo and the new Forza, so I'll get them for free. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Fingers crossed I can get that fuel. Uh-oh. Listen, I'm ill. I don't need a slap as well. Um, but... Well, hi ho neighborino. Hi diddly-ho, everyone. Um, yeah, just wanted to say a big thank you to um, everyone who came and chatted tonight and watched watched the stream. Thank you, Jaybird, for the, the 100 bits. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to go rest my voice now and prepare for the big day tomorrow. No time to die. I honestly can't believe it. I remember walking out of the cinema back in 2015 after having watched Spectre and honestly thinking that was kind of crap and then getting sad thinking this is now the longest time I have to wait until the next one. Well, six years later, four delays later, a global pandemic and we're finally here. I am so excited.
And I just really hope, I really hope it's good. And I hope that Daniel Craig gets the send-off that he deserves. The swan song of a Bond film. Um, and then, and then, we have the even more exciting chapter of Bond, where we get a new Bond. Doesn't happen very often. Doesn't very, I mean, I've only had one in my lifetime so far. So, well, I suppose two, actually. If you include when I was a baby, it would have been Timothy Dalton. But um, yeah, so this is going to be a big moment when we finally get our new Bond and uh, the franchise continues for another 60 years, most probably. So to anyone who is going to go out and watch it tomorrow, I hope you enjoy it. I will, uh, I'll be there with my glass of wine, hopefully not coughing and enjoying it. And um, one sec. Coughing like I was just then. Um, you better believe it that uh, on Sunday, if I am well enough to stream, which I probably will be by Sunday, um, I will be talking a lot about it. I will, I will, uh, I will try not to spoil it. Well, I, I won't spoil it if I need to, um, but I'm sure I have a lot to say. So, just as a warning, and I will, I will put it very clearly on that stream, if I am going to talk about Bond, um, I will tell you all about it, like, and that there will be spoilers, because I would, I would hate to do that to someone else, I'd hate to spoil it for other people, that would suck, but yeah, there'll be a big debrief, <laughs> a big debrief following that, um, and if not, I'll try and keep it spoiler free, but even spoiler free reviews, I think are still spoilery, so, Okay, right, I'm going to end off now. Voice is going. Thank you, everyone. Happy, merry, no time to die eve. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Well, hi, ho, neighborino. 